Into a morphing kit. Jade, you're here. I haven't seen you. Well, it's nice to be back up here again. It's sunny and warm. It is. It's a nice day. A very nice day. I think um, it'll be one of few. We'll see the weather turning shortly. <laughs> no sign of snow. Eh? No sign of snow oh, yet, now. Thank you. How have you been getting on recently, then? Much improved. We've got uh, much improved performances-wise. What we're suffering is probably every team in the league oh. suffering from is having consistency in the squad. We don't know who's going to turn up on a Sunday. And I think you'll find that right throughout the league. And that is the disappointment that I have. You know, we're Do you think they take it seriously? Not at all. Not at all. I honestly believe 90% of these, uh, it's a social event. We've, we've looked, from a club's point of view, we've looked to try and get women's football recognised at the highest level. Um, yes, we've brought girls who have been at the club for a long time, but to attract other girls for the right reasons is becoming very, very tiresome. In the last uh, three months, we have had probably eight serious injuries. You saw one of our senior players who walks in, oh, I won't be fit till next week, you know, but she's, she's been out for a month. I had Kate, my captain, out for the best part of three months. How's the groin? The groin is it's all good again. It's all good again. But, I mean, pre-season, we got them all together and we said, look, we can't have another season like we had last season. We can't rely on a core of eight players to run a football club a football team rather so we started pre-season and we didn't touch a football for six weeks we concentrated on fitness tried to get the lifestyle into the head and we got a really good sort of nucleus of 14 players who were buying into it within the first two games we lost six of them through injury there was a game we were here about well it must have been five weeks ago now and we actually had four girls watching us on crutches broken ankle, a torn ligament, a cracked ankle in the other one, a metatarsal foot or something or other like that. But they were out, and, and once they've got that treatment, they're out. We've got a super talented player in our team, one of the youngest players we have at 18. She's broken, and at this minute in time, she hasn't played for six or seven weeks just through an injury that we can't even get to the bottom of. Yeah, be, careful, be careful Middlesbrough on Nicker as well. well. Well, that was the other minor detail. Middlesbrough did take our, our best players. But you can't really blame the 
I don't really blame the players for that because as a player you look at what you're surrounded by and who is going to have the longevity yeah. and Middlesbrough will have the longevity because their badge attracts for whatever reason more players Have you played them yet? Yes, we've, um, we, we drew um, two all good result but a great yeah, result yeah, yeah. but it's annoying as well because the girls are up for that game and you know it was a game that we could have actually won and you know they weren't they, they were full strength the girls who played for us who were now playing for them played against us and you know we had a really good performance and we got a 2-2 draw but then the following week we play a team that on paper we should have beat and we make such hard work out of it all the girls don't turn up yeah. And you're back down to, oh, I've got ten players, and it's just this is that's becoming an issue as far as I'm concerned. Right. It has to be viable. You've travelled on a bus yeah. all the way from Morecambe, hundred and something miles, yeah. three hundred pound yeah. for, for for the cost of the bus. Mm. If we don't have a squad of fifteen paying monthly thirty pound a month, we're not viable. No, no. And, and I can't see, you know, how why we should keep this going if they're not going to take it seriously let's get on to today's game are we in full uh, squad today or uh, far from it we've got um, we got a, a new we'll, keeper is uh, a new keeper no no Laura's, Laura's our second keeper our main keeper's away for uh, personal reasons but I can't really knock her for that because she is one of the most committed players that right. we have okay. it just happens to be today booked well in advance she couldn't play um, now she is um, quite a versatile player because Today we, we would have had a play in midfield or left back, right, so okay. she can come out as well. Where Laura, who we've got in goal today, is purely a goalkeeper. Right, okay. We've got a 16-year-old girl who's literally turned 16 two, three weeks ago. Who's, who, you know, yes, it's exciting for her and yeah. she wants to play for us, but she should be playing 20 minutes today. Right. Instead, she's going to have to play 90. Okay, I know. I, I understand where you're coming from today. So, anyway, it's a good day for football. It's um, an excellent game for football. Uh, day for football. We should have a good game. Enjoy the game. Thank you very much. Thank nice you. To- well, Kate, how's your crying? Yeah, it's a bit better. I've uh, not played for three weeks, so it's a bit uh, sort of, uh, yeah. The bit of a different team you had from the team that you brought down to Morecambe. Yeah, before we had our full team, after we played you early in the season, we, we, we got like about four serious injuries, so we've just got the luck from last season. You could have had them before we played. I know. <laughs> yeah, so we're missing like four senior players. Mm-hmm. They should be due back any time between now and oh. Christmas. So what was your take on the game today? It was a funny game. Yeah, I thought we played well for 60 minutes and then I thought whoever got the second goal was going to win. It was going to change the game and they would have won the game. Unfortunately, it went to Markham. Mm-hmm. I mean, the first half, you didn't have many chances. Yeah, I thought uh, your number 10, I didn't recognise her from the first game. I think she played in a different position, maybe centre mid, because I wasn't... I wasn't marking her, but she was um, a quick player. We didn't realise her pace, and obviously that got you the goal. So I think when we uh, got to grips with her, and um, we were trying to create the chances, but again, with our injuries, strikers were... Was, was but you came out in the second half looking for a. You almost scored in the first couple of minutes. Well. Yeah, we had the chances, especially off the corners. It's just our luck lately. Mm. Just seemed to be a lot of goal line clearances. And, and what did you make of the two penalties and the decisions? Yeah, I thought the penalty for Markham. It was a bit. Out, it was a foul, but it was outside the box. Even. Um, you could see the marking on the pitch. Right. I think the penalty that went for us, it was a bit soft. I think he was trying to make up for his mistake. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, so, no. yeah, but we should have took the chance. And um, what's the rest of the season looking for you then? It's going to be hard, but hopefully we can uh, just hang on in there. Luckily, the teams below us are, are struggling as yeah, well, yeah. so that's given us a bit I of... Think that's right. Yeah. Well, a lot of the fixtures, we, we get a shock week in, week out, and we see, like, Leeds... They're like performing really well, and then one next week they're getting beat five ones and five nil against us. Oh, was it? Yeah, 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 that was the probably yeah. result that got a shock. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know. I think it's just like on the day, what teams have got what players. Who played well for your team today? Then who would you? Well, I know the result won't reflect it, but I would keep her, Laura Ellison, really. I would chant like all of our players. I think it could have been a lot more for Markham, mm. but uh, consistency with uh, decision makings coming out saved us a lot of goals. Anyone else? We've just got a recent new girl, Jules, uh, plays at the centre-back alongside me. She's 
a senior player. Yeah, I won't. Right. I won't say her age on camera, but uh, she's had many 30, years. She's thirty-eight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your manager is so. Yeah, she's got a few years of experience, so we needed that a bit yeah. of maturity yeah. within, within the team. But yeah, it's it, we're still struggling. We're, we're picking up a few under 18s from the team below, so it's uh, they're just coming through. Right, there's one player you have missed out that you haven't mentioned who had a great game, and that's yourself. You had a cracking game. Oh, great! I thought, no, thank you. I was hoping you had a groin injury, but yeah, yeah. Kate, thanks very much. Yeah, we'll thanks see very you next much. Season. Yeah, great. Well, well done. Thank you. Keener, a great result today, eh? Yeah, it was. I think the way we played the last few games, I think that um, this result showed that we picked up our form and we got the three points that we deserve. So, uh, I mean, the first half and second half were completely different. It was, uh... Yeah, we got we got the goal to give us a lead, the 1-0, but then we just seemed to back off a little bit. We seemed to give them more time on the ball. And I think second half, we definitely come out a much quicker team, put them under pressure, and it showed with the results. And there were some good moves. I mean, one of the, you were involved with a couple of the goals, weren't you? Yeah, I think it was just that we caught them about back to us, one, two, touching, got the ball over yeah. the top, and Emma's pace killed them a lot of the time as well, and yeah. Sophie Fish. So they just couldn't handle it when we did the one, two, and then over the top. And they um, they didn't really have many chances. It was only when they came out in the second half that they had something to, to go at. They, otherwise, they were nothing. Yeah, not really. They started off the first few minutes, and they looked like they were going to get an opportunity. But again, after that, we settled, kept them at bay, and they had the penalty, which uh, Jody did excellent to get the save to stop that going oh, in. Great penalty save, wasn't Definitely. it? Definitely. All right. Well, thank you for coming down and helping us with another three points. What are you up to next week? Um, I'm not here next week. I'm away again, unfortunately. Well, who are you with then? Who, what are you doing? Again with the army away this weekend. So sorry, what are you doing? Control oh, and things oh, like sorry. that. Sorry, I thought you were playing a game with no, someone. No, no, no. It's just all literally right, work right. stuff. And this everything's time. going all right with the army team. Yeah, we, we played out last Wednesday and we beat Kent two once. That was a good result for us. So yeah. hate it's Southerners. I know exactly. Right. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, Keno. All right. Three points away from home, brilliant. We can't do anything better than that, can we? No, long journey, great result. A result we needed, we're kicking on with a good form now. Next week will be very tough against Mossley Hill, but hopefully we'll have a few players back for that one, so it'll be a stronger team than we fielded today. While we had most of the ball, we didn't, apart from the first goal, which was a very clinical finish, I don't think we really did much with it. Ball into the final third just wasn't quite on cue for us. Chances were falling to us, but not for them. Yeah, but we, again, we didn't we didn't sort of make the most of it, if you will, against tougher teams. We'll have to do that. We'll have to put the chances away quicker. Yeah. So the ratio between goals and chances will have to be a lot slimmer. <laughs> but second half came out, we were a bit uh, turned off, and they looked as though they might have a chance, and then we scored some cracking. Games. Yeah, the the start of the second half was a little bit edgy, and a few sloppy passes here and there. But um, we built into it, and the second goal was absolutely fantastic. What a what a brilliant build up and what a brilliant clinical finish in the centre forward and from there we kicked on, you know we never looked like we were going to concede except the penalty silly penalty to give away yeah, great, save, by great save, really good save particularly the, uh, the way she committed to go in one side and somehow managed to get two fists to the ball, really good We didn't have a full squad today but uh, we should have a better one next week Yes, from what I understand, players are coming back. I believe one of them is on holiday uh, in the Netherlands, right. so maybe All she'll right, bring back a bit uh, of Dutch flair. With Anna, us that's you. Yep. <laughs> but it's going to be a really tough game next week against Mossley Hill. They're above us in the table. We've beaten them once this season. I see no reason why we can't go and do it again. I think they might want to get revenge as well, though. Yeah, yeah well, any team uh, that's been beaten once this season will want to go back and uh, prove a point to their team that's beaten them before. But I believe we've got the quality in our squad to go and get six points from these two fixtures against them. Thank you very much. Uh, chips in um, Kirby Stephen on the way home, man. If, um, if the driver allows it, yeah. Right. I, I would very much like a chippy right. tea, though. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, no Cheers, worries. Cheers, mate. Play, Kelly's.
Well, Jodie, that was a great uh, result, 4-0, it's not bad, is it? Yeah, it's good, really good, yeah. And you had a good game? Yeah. Some and tell few... me about that penalty save, then. <laughs> God knows, did it for Kino. Right, she um... gave me a little... A pep talk. Well, that was your happy birthday thing. Yeah, it so was. It was great. So did it for uh, the lasses, didn't I? Yeah, great stuff. Thanks, Jody. Thank you. Thank you. 